Hello, today we will make an XOR gate. So, first we will make a library, new library, name it as XOR gate. In the library, we will make a new cell, name it as XOR. And schematic, of course, because we, are, we will first make a schematic. Now, how does the schematic of an XOR gate look like? We have two PMOS in series, which are in parallel with other two PMOS. Down, we have two NMOS in parallel, which are in series with the other two NMOS. It will be something such. But before making the entire structure, we will do a few things. Like, I just selected a PMOS and an NMOS. I will first set the spice model tools simulation spice set spice model for both this is pmos this is nmos and I will make the width as 10 for both Okay, now I'll zoom out. And now I will copy all the P. Copy and paste so that whatever parameters I have defined for these, this particular PMOS are copied. So I will click say control C. And click in the workspace again and control V. Two in series. then control V click click again and then say control V because until and unless there is a red line across the object it says that the object is selected and nothing can happen now for NMOS click control C click again control V yes click then control V click again control V We will place a ground and a power node. Now I will flip this these PMOS. So edit mirror left right. Edit mirror left right. And also the NMOS. Oops. Okay, now we will just arrange them well so that the connections become easy. here okay now two pmos series these two are in series with parallel with these two now these two should be in parallel and they will be in series The power node okay okay now we want to give two inputs actually there will be four inputs a a bar and b b bar but what i will do here is i will only supply a and a bar sorry a and b and a bar and b bar i will use an inverter to generate them so i have a B and my output terminal okay now where do I want a first let me connect wherever I need a my 
A will be connected here and my A will be connected to this particular NMOS. Okay, now where do I need B? I need B for this NMOS and I need B for, for this PMOS. So it's a long connection though. I will take it from here. Okay. I will connect the output also. Now, since I want to use an inverter, what will I do? I will go to file, open library and in the library, C drive. I will open inverter. In inverter, if you remember, you made the schematic and you made the icon. Now you have already simulated the icon, so you know how to use the icon. So I will just drag my inverter into the schematic and I will use it. Now I'll just zoom out for it first. How will I do that? I will click on the icon view, drag it and then just leave the cursor here. Click, drag and leave the cursor. Okay. Now, one of my input will go to this inverter. Now, A bar will be generated here. Other input will go to this inverter. My B bar will be generated here. Let me export them so that it becomes easier to visualize. I'll use the shortcut control E and say this is A, B and out. Okay. Now, where do I need A bar for this PMOS? So let me make the connection. Where else will I need an, an A bar? Down here. So I'll just push this a bit inside so that my circuit doesn't look shabby. And yeah, this is done. Now where is my B bar? My B bar is here and here. So first connection. is out right second connection would be this now if you want to check just click on the node you can see your a bar is going to three places to inverter one pmos sorry a is going to three places inverter pmos and nmos now you want to check a bar click on the inverter but not on the input side click on the output side so you can see it is going to this pmos and this nmos in this way you can check if your signals are proper or no now let's check if our circuit is proper it says it has four errors less than key unnecessary pin it reads again so it says there are unnecessary pins so we need to clean them edit clean up cell clean up pins everywhere now let's check yes we have no errors now let's write the code miscellaneous spice code properties multi-line text VDD, VDD, 0, DC, 5, then the input, VA, A, 0, DC, PWL, 10 nano, 0, 20N, 5, then 
electric c5 models dot text okay we are done with our code you can increase the text size to now it is visible okay let's simulate it no errors let's see if the output is correct yes seems so now plot setting add plot plane okay my input a b now as you can see if you have a 1 1 you have a 0 if you have a 0 1 you have 1 if you have 1 0 it is still 1 For zero zero, it is zero. So now measuring of rise and fall. Well, the dot measure statement. You can measure this particular rise, and say, or you can say, measure this particular fall and this rise. 